format, we discuss here the stocks that we buy. This is Candice Chang and I'm from Stern. Credit Suisse had that uh, the big scandal now. A scandal, it's actually not a scandal, it's a loss really. They have a client who couldn't pay and they had to write down their, their um, for the Roman, how do you say in English, their claims, the claims. The claims. Yeah. And so they had to write down the claims, you know, for four billions, five billion Swiss francs that they had to write down because a hedge fund was um, was way too aggressive in the way they, you know, did business. And Credit Suisse was exposed too heavily towards that, that hedge fund. Yeah. And I, I, I thought that, you know, it's not really, of course you can say bad risk management, but honestly, it's also a little bit a sign of the times. At this moment, there's so little yield. Banks have to be more and more creative to give shareholders what they want. And, you know, that's when things like that happen. And uh, I, I was wondering then, you know, how much is four, four billion or five billion for a credit Suisse? And it turns out that their market capitalization is only only 24 billion right now. Mm -hmm. It used to be 30, 35 before, the, before, before they corrected. And now it's down to something below 30. So they actually had a drop in their share price by more or less exactly the amount that they lost, which is economically very satisfying because that's how it should be. You know, the correction should be exactly the loss that you have and not more. Uh, markets tend to over, overreact. And I then decided, okay, the, the market made a, a sensible reaction, but I really like to stock. And I think from now on, these managers will be probably more careful at the future. And that's what I want from the bank. And at the same time, I looked into, uh, I, I looked into the competition, you know, this, this, this uh, fintech, basically. And to be honest, uh, when it comes to finance, you still want to trust someone. And I'm still skeptical that fintech is such an interesting area. Because you know, the only thing they can really do is save cost. Let's say it's always the clear, you know, mm -hmm. say transactions. transactions, you know, cash transactions. Right. Now, of course, there are now fintech companies. Stripe is a company that has a, a big valuation that are trying to do it more convenient and cheaper. Revolut does it a lot cheaper. But that doesn't really create a lot of cash. If you do things cheaper, you know, right. it's not that attractive. You know, and 20 years ago, it was the, the discount brokers that everybody thought are so sexy. But it turns out they didn't make much money because it, they did everything a lot cheaper. So it's not like a platform where uh, it becomes really exciting because everybody is on that platform and the platform can charge a premium. In, in cash transactions, you're still in competition. It's not possible that you have a platform. And that basically means it's, it's, a, it's, it's a, a commodity business. So I'm not so worried about the FinTech in that area after all. And when I look at Credit Suisse, I think it has an excellent name. And, uh, and what was even more surprising when I now went to the website, uh, just recently, they decided that they changed their proposals for the annual general meeting, which is just a couple of weeks, you know, in a couple of weeks time, right. in a very, very responsible way. I mean, it was, it was really impressive. Uh, first, they uh, decided to forego their short-term incentives for 2020. So there's no right. bonus for managers. And it's quite right. impressive. I mean... Yeah. The bonus for a banker is typically more than half the salary. It could easily be 70 or 80 percent of your salary is your bonus. If they decide to not, you know, to not take the bonus, it's it's a, a, an incredible sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So I was I found this really impressive. They also decided not to grant a long-term incentive plan. So again, they're they're giving up something that could actually create a lot of value for them in the future. So the manager, the manage, the management now within days basically has acted extremely responsible. And even better, the board has decided that they are not asking for a discharge mm -hmm. until the investigation is over. Right. So they, they assume they're really, and I'm, I'm really impressed. They're, they say like, look, I assume responsibility, I'm responsible until we've cleaned that up and we're not asking you for discharge. Yeah. And that, both was really impressive for me. Mm -hmm. So there we discuss this together. Um, we have to also make a little disclaimer, right? right. Our son, 
is a, an apprentice at uh, Credit Suisse. So um, there's a little bit of income <laughs> in the family from Credit Suisse. Other than that, there's no income, of course, from Credit Suisse. And uh, we also we work for UBS. So we, we are very close, actually, in that environment. So we have to make that transparent. Yes. Um, but on top and of we hold that, both. And we hold both, exactly. Yes. So we, we have now U UBS and we have Credit Suisse. And with Credit Suisse, we just decided that this is a good opportunity to step in because um, it's actually, for us, it, it, it's, a, it's an opportunity for the bank, bank, bank to become better. Yeah. A value rank of 75, which of course is going to be high or even if uh, the stock price is lower as it is currently. Yes, the profit is, is, is basically wiped out right now, but not the people and the capital and the revenues, they're still the same. Right. So value rank could as well increase. They have a good growth rank, 65, so the bank is doing something right. right. But this is from March 26th, so this might have been before some of these recent events. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Probably should have, should calculate that again. Has the balance sheet from, from 2020, or, yes, and 26, I think, is before, huh? Before that hit. Yeah, so this. So before the latest. Yes, that's why I'm saying the value rank could actually change now because right. the stock price went down. Right. So it could go up. The growth rank will stay the same because that's anyway a historic perspective, mm -hmm. more or less, except, of course, for the, the, the shareholder return. It's yeah. going to be a little bit worse. Um, safety rank, though, is, is, is quite high at 74. So it's, it's, it's actually quite a conservative bank by now. Good. So we decided to go there a little bit in Ohio. Okay, interesting. Good, thank you. Candice, thanks. Okay. Anything to add on your side? No, no, it's uh, always good to chat and talk about the, uh, the stock selections. Okay, so these were our decisions and we wish you a lot of success with your decisions. Mm -hmm.